day please i say shut up he throws a flower vase with forceful spin at the wall causing me to flinch and look at the scattered pieces in the room don't you dare touch my damn creations if you even think of trying that again you will find yourself stuttering in my class cut it then you shut your mouth while he give you a serious death blow then you both heard a knocking sound at the door He rolled his eyes to place on his anger, returning to a normal expression and opened the door. What happened? It's nothing more. Where's Roy? You put your on your fake smile as you step aside for your mother in law to enter. Are you alright? Yes, ma'am. But I heard noise from your room. I accidentally dropped the flower vase. Sorry, ma'am. Why sorry? It's okay, why? Just be careful with glass things. They can hurt you, dear. Okay, ma'am. His mom glanced at her son and left. After that, they sighed and turned off the lights and got into the bed to sleep, ignoring you. Now your tears fall from your eyes finally when no one can see them in the darkness. He didn't make the room dark, but your lives are worth living in darkness where he doesn't allow us. You wipe your tears, take your pillow, sitting on the sofa in the corner of the room to sleep. Because Day doesn't like you sleeping with him bed. Yeah, after marriage, he doesn't even touch your arm. The next day morning, you were preparing his lunchbox when you heard his footsteps coming from downstairs, indicating he was going to the office. You hurriedly rushed to him, making him pass. Day, take this. He was ignoring you attempt to pass but you call him again. Te, it's not good for your health to eat at the cafeteria every day. Please take this. I won't digest because of food. Is something could harm me to the point of death. I will have already dead when you cruelly left me alone without any care, leaving me to suffer alone. He said seriously on your face, causing your expression to pale. He was about to walk away but he stopped when he noticed his mom approaching. "Che, she made your favorite food. Did you eat it?" "There is nothing more favorite to me." Those feelings dead long ago, leaving me empty inside. It hurt your heart when he looked into your eyes and then he implied that those feelings dead because of you. But his mom didn't understand at all. He left without taking lunch box. This wasn't the first time he didn't take the lunch box, but you still hoped that he might eat what you made someday. What's wrong with him? She asked you confusingly, but you pretended everything is okay. Mom, he already told me he is frustrated because of business issues. That's why he was talking like that. Please don't mind him. But I feel like it's another way around. Is everything okay between you both? If not, then tell me. I'll handle everything and solve it easily too. You couldn't tell her because you don't want her to intervene between you. Even if she finds out by any chance, she will also lose her place and suffer like you both of them. What made you ask me that? Since your marriage, I've been observing you both, but not as a husband and wife, but more like two strangers. Um, there is nothing like that more. You are happy, but he is a little cold. She forced her laugh and left busy. Maybe I was thinking too much. On the other hand, you were trying your best to maintain a mask of normality. Also, you never give up. You would prepare meals, try your best to involve yourself in his personal matters, take care of household chores, and attempt to engage day in conversation. But his responses were often sharp, leaving you feeling unheard and alone. One evening, they come back, not as usual late at night. But his footsteps were heavy with weight of issues from work. He was removing his blazer, coming in with sweat that was sweating his white shirt. But he had to stop when his mom called him. 
When he turned his head in her direction, he found you also standing behind her. Hesitating, he followed his eyebrows, seeming to think that you might tell his mom about what's going between you both. Jay, I really didn't expect you to handle this way. Mom, that's not what's happening. He slightly panicked at his mom's cold tone. I reminded you about attending your dad's friend's business party. How could you do it? So, are we only discussing them? He sighed in relief. Of course, I'm disappointed too. It's not the truth, mom. If you want, I can still go to the party. Okay, but take wine with you. He made a cold face at you, questioning as if it's your plan. But you shook your head. Mom, I don't want to go. Please let him go alone. She tried to say it in low tone with tension, sensing that there was misunderstanding. But she stopped you. No wine. Neither of you has gone out for fun. So both of you are going out together for at least some fun tonight. I want both of you to enjoy the party. Mom, I also don't. If you don't take her, I'll call your dad. All right. Driver, take the car. Saying that, he started making his way back, not inside. Wine, surprised, didn't even think that they would agree. Go on. But mom, look at me, I don't look good. Do you wanna be scholar by me too? Uh, no mom, that's better. You hurriedly tuck your hair strands behind your ears, then go out get in the car. You didn't try to talk to him as he was too serious, kind of angry to you. That's why he didn't even change his and in just 50 minutes, you both arrived at the party. They got out of the car and you also got up immediately, not waiting for him to open the door for you. Because, you know, he would dip the door rather than open it. You were walking behind him while he walked, putting his hands in his pockets. Your eyes were fixed on a couple with the wife was tugging her arm in her husband's. You also wanted to be with Tay like that, but you didn't dare to touch him. The hem of his suit. Suddenly he looked at you noticing you watching the couple and he snapped his fingers. Behave yourself. We aren't a husband and wife here. Your eyes became sad just from the single line. Why dear? You asked him to live with sadness. I just have my reasons. Enjoy the party yourself. Saying this, he left you alone without even looking back while you were still looking at him with sadness. How can I enjoy it? My happiness is free, not just spending time alone. You felt sad there, but your guy's eyes cut you. When he saw them, he even forgot his girlfriend, Lily, who was with him. In just a second, you accidentally looked back at him and he smiled at you. You followed your eyebrows, avoiding looking at him, but his girlfriend got jealous. She immediately came towards you before you could leave the place because of him. Would I let you in here? Look at the cheap outfit you are wearing. You felt insecure as she insulted you in a not expensive attire but you couldn't respond harshly, sensing that maybe this party belonged to her family which is why she spoke to you in such a way. I am Tay's wife. You couldn't finish your sentence as you remember though. He said you aren't his wife here. Lily misunderstood your silence. Got it. You come here to tap one of our rich handsome guys in your net? What? No, I'm not the type of girl. Then why are you here? You are feeling tense about your how to explain. But choosing not to hurt this reputation, you remain silent lowering your head to endure whatever insult she throws at you while so many others watch you with cheap gauges. As she approached you, hand raised she cursed you. You, why aren't you answering? Mind your damn words before you even raising your voice at my wife. You will regret it. You got goosebumps when you heard him claim you as his wife. You even felt emotional hearing him call you as his wife. Then you looked at him with teary eyes, but he was filling with anger, a serious and extreme warning to Lily. Jay, are you kidding me? I was almost cracked with disbelief as she couldn't believe you were Tay's wife. He then pulled you closer to him while glaring angrily at her. Say sorry to my wife right now. 
day everyone is watching us again actually you are believing what's actually happening he is holding you and scolding her to say sorry to you it was like a hallucination to you which was never expected you insulted my wife in tough area so what's bothering you to say sorry to my wife in front of the same everyone lily was trying to excuse herself but he signaled her to stop by showing his palm do you even know how to go she was born into a reputable family and your manners aren't even close to compare with hers if she wanted she could throw this kind of party effortlessly there isn't a single man here who the end of the event touch her feet that's how beautiful she is look at your boyfriend he couldn't even take his eyes off my wife he said making me even more embarrassed with his tone even when did he tell us how much she was having in common I won't hesitate to slap you if you refuse to apologize. Lily swallowed nervously, seeing his anger expression. Then she looked at you. I'm sorry. That's better. He said, grabbing your hand, taking you out with him seriously. They were still gripping your hand, walking towards the girl that he had parked at. But you spoke, causing him to immediately release your hand and looked at you with. in this gap of expression i forgot that i'm always safe there when you are on me no one can harm me you protect me you are my savior don't think i protect you i just saved my wife from being insulted by others what now how are you supposed to react are you happy that he referred to you as his wife or sad because he didn't mean to protect you at all No, don't make excuses to me. I know you are lying. Even as you say, try to tell me. Your heart is trembling inside. Why the damn drama and nonsense? Do you think I'm scared of lying to you? He said annoyingly, his words filled with hatred. But his eyes betrayed him. So Wayne shook her head. But your eyes opposite what you are saying. I know you are just trying to hurt me out of anger. But it's not going to work because I'm not ready to do you anything you say. I love you too. So even if I told you I'm already prepared for your divorce, you still say you love me? As you were speaking, he interrupted and asked you. His eyes turning dark. This is when you feel a pain in your heart. Your eyes watering with tears starting to form. You couldn't bear the thought, and you hadn't even realized it. You were tearing up as you looked at him, speechless. Why are you silent? Don't you feel like arguing with me now? He said, clearly mocking. Be ready to live my life against you. I really don't want you. I hate you. Tears were filling from your eyes as his rejection sank in, realizing that he truly hated you.